How many of you have duck hunted more than one duck season? If that's you, smash that like button and let me know in the comment section below how many years you've duck hunted. Now, as we go through our seasons of duck hunting, for me at least, I learn something every day. I see something new, I figure out new things, or even discover new ways to do things or not do things. And that's what we're talking about this time on Surviving Duck Season. Surviving Duck Season, offering you the best waterfowl content. Subscribe to this channel, click the notification bell, and don't miss any of our great content. Presented by Mojo Outdoors and High and Dry. Okay, so this video is kind of a one-off. It's pretty random, which is why I've titled it Random Things I've Learned in 34 Seasons of Duck Hunting. This is a partial list, and depending upon what y'all think of it, we may do a part two somewhere down the road. But I think there's some really good stuff here, no matter if you're a seasoned duck hunter or this is the first season that you're going to be hunting. Uh, I think you're going to pick up a few things. Some things are just my opinion or things that just work for me. But there's also a lot of things that kind of are universal. So let's get started. Be early. Be early, especially if you're hunting with your buddy at his place. Keep your secret spots in public hunting secret. Be very choosy who you take in there with you. Don't set up too close to somebody else. When it comes to lease hunting ground, make sure you're also very careful about who you take with you because you never know when somebody might try to lease your ground out from under you. Don't show up with a buddy to an invited hunt. And don't ask to take a buddy when you're invited to go on a hunt. Don't sky bust. Let them work. In order to call birds, you need to see them. Just make sure they don't see you. It is very possible to call those ducks that are way, way up there. Keep a change of clothes in your truck or in your boat. Getting wet is not unusual. Camo clothes aren't as important as being still. My Columbia jacket from 1989 is still more waterproof than my Drake jacket from 2014. Wind is the single most important determining factor when I'm choosing a blind to hunt. Whenever possible, I set up with a crossing wind. Wind at your back is usually not a good idea. I hate hunting out of a metal pit blind with a roll top. Carry a blind bag with you. Always take a snack and some water. Take off your jacket when you go to put out your decoys so you don't sweat and then you don't get cold. Keep your decoys clean. Slotted decoy bags keep your decoys looking good. If you shoot a decoy, got a hole in it, it leaks water, whatever you do, don't get that spray in insulation foam. It doesn't work. It will cause your decoys to absorb water and they'll sink to the bottom. Texas rigs on your decoys is the best way to do it if you're hunting in shallow water. And I've been using Texas rigs on my decoys since the 80s before it was cool. Don't leave your decoys out. Movement in your decoys is critical. Always have a jerk rig. Mojos still work. Somebody's got to call the shot. Most hunters don't know when to call the shot. Remington 870 is the toughest duck hunt I ever made. And my 30 year old Remington 870 still shoots lots of ducks every year. I'd rather shoot a two and three quarter inch 12 gauge than a three inch. Always carry more shells than you think you're going to need. Steel shot still isn't as good as lead was back in the day, but bismuth and tungsten are probably better. It doesn't matter how much you spend on your gun or on your shells, a miss is still a miss. Many of the non-toxic alternatives to steel are worth the extra money if you can hit the ducks. Buy the right size waders and only wear one pair of socks. Wiggle your toes often. Always have a backup pair of waders. Now I'm a pro at fixing leaky waders. Flex Seal does not work on waders, but it does work on fiberglass layout boats. Aqua Seal is temporary, and so is Shoe Goo. I've only had a tire patch to work on a pair of waders one time. SG20 works really good, but you gotta be fast. 
and 5200 by 3M also works really well. Every single year that I've duck hunted, I've had to make major repairs to waders from either gouging holes in them or because the seam started leaking or, or, or whatever. And uh, this past duck season, after I got my high and dry waders, was the first year I didn't have to do that. So I'm looking forward to year number two in my same pair of waders. Hang your ducks by their feet because the pictures look way better. There's nothing like hunting with an experienced, well-trained retriever. Yellow labs make better pictures than black labs do, which is why I have yellow labs. A yellow dog in dark cover or a black dog in light cover doesn't spook birds unless they're acting like a fool. Never soak your duck meat, your goose meat, your deer meat, any meat in some kind of brine, salt water, vinegar, milk, nothing. Duck and goose prepared like a steak is much better than a duck or goose prepared like chicken. Medium rare, please. So that's my first round of uh, random thoughts from 34 years of duck hunting. I hope that you guys like it. If you've got some suggestions of your own things that I've left off my list, I'd love to know what they are. Post them in the comment section below. Uh, maybe I'll add them to another list on another video down the road. Now, uh, guys, I really appreciate all the, the comments that you've been making on our videos the last several months. Uh, we've got all kinds of content, not just tips and, and, and stories and things like this, but we also have some hunting segments. Uh, and we also have a docu-series. Uh, if you'll check it out right here, you can see some of those. Uh, right here is another playlist for tips and tactics, but there's also lots of other great content. Until next time, I'm Joel Strickland. God bless and good hunting.